we have been uh, taking up uh, questions on percentages have moved on to profit and loss in the last session we had discussed the you know the formula for uh, calculation of profit or loss percentage we now start taking up word problems on that the first one i'm writing here it's a very simple one it says rishi it's a direct question actually Rishi bought a wrist watch for rupees 2200 and sold it for rupees 1980. Simply find the loss or profit person. Now, as because it has uh, inf it has been informed that the bought price is twenty two hundred, so I'll write the cost price to be rupees twenty two hundred. It is clearly a case of loss because the selling price is less than the cost price. So I'll calculate the loss. I'll write L as cost price minus selling price and that will give me 2200 minus 1980 i think that's is 220 hmm? do we have to calculate it is in percentage uh, in the last session we had seen how to calculate this in percentage it is loss by cost price into 100 so here i'll be writing loss was 220 by the cost price is 2200 into 100 to convert it into percentage this two zeros getting cancelled 22 is giving me like 1 and 10 so it is a loss of 10 percent this is one of the very direct questions on percentages in profit and loss we now take up another question here i write it down If the cost price of 25 chairs, chairs is equal to the selling price of 30 chairs, such questions are better done with taking the cost of one chair or one article to be uh, one. Sorry. One sec, let me just finish writing the question. I might then start solving it. Okay, I've written down the question. It informs that the cost of 25 chairs, let the chair cost uh, of each chair be 1 rupee. Hmm? Let the cost of each chair be rupee 1. So, oh sorry, I made a mistake here in writing the spelling for a chair be rupee 1 so the cost of 25 chairs will be rupees 25 25 chairs will be rupees 25 now this rupees 25 is equal to the selling price of 30 chairs this is also equal to selling price of 30 chairs now there is a loss or a profit it is quite visible that there is a loss right if this same chair is sold mm, uh, the ex excess number of chair is sold at the same price there is a loss so the loss is 20 30 minus 25 that is rupees 5 now this to be converted into percentage so what is the cost price of then 30 chairs because you have sold th um, 30 chairs so cost price we had taken it to be 1 so the cost price of 30 chairs will be 30 so it is 5 by uh, I said the cost price to be 30 multiplied by 100 to convert it into percentage. So I'm getting 50 by 3. If I solve, I mean if I divide it, I will be getting a, a recurring uh, decimal I think. Or it is getting to be 16.666. So I am making it 16.7% by rounding up to the one decimal place. Okay. 
let me move on to another screen and take few more questions I write down the next one here Two hundred kg of sugar was purchased at a rate of rupees fifteen per kg and sold at a profit of five percent. Compute the profit and the selling price per kg. Okay. What is the cost price of a sugar? Again, I made a typing error here. Just kindly ignore it, please. So, it was purchased at 15 per kg. So, the cost price will be, and right here, for 200 kg of sugar, 200 into... 15 that's giving me rupees 3000 profit is on 5% of this cost price so profit will be 5% of cost price that is 5% of sorry this 3000 this two getting cancelled so i'm getting this as 150 so the total selling price becomes 3000 plus 150 that makes it 3150 because this is cost price plus profit right we have to compute the cost uh, selling price per kg it is the cost selling price of 200 kg so, selling price per kg will be 3150 by 200 kgs. This I am getting, I will just check, 315 by 20 is giving 15.75 per kg. This will be the selling price actually. Let's now move on with more questions. I write the next one here. Might come across this question quite frequently. A man buys a plot of agricultural land i'm just using them short form the part which is not that much important for the question any land we can write for rupees three lakhs now he sells one third at a loss of 20 percent and two fifth at a gain of 25% at what price must he sell the remaining land so as to make an overall profit of 10% So the cost price of the entire land is, I'll just write it here, cost price of this entire land becomes 3 lakhs. All right. He sells one third of this. First of all, let us see how much final profit it would need to uh, make. It, it wants to make a 10% overall profit. So, profit of 10% becomes, I write here, profit of 10% will be 
ten percent of three lakh that becomes thirty thousand. We need to make thirty thousand. Let's see how far he has gained or lost in the first two transactions. In the first one, he sells one third at a loss of twenty percent. So what is one third? He must have sold one third of this three lakhs. That is one lakh cost price. Oh, sorry, this one lakh cost price of uh, land he had sold at a loss of twenty percent. So twenty percent of this becomes. Twenty thousand. So he must have sold this. The selling price must have been ten lakhs. Sorry, one lakh minus twenty two lakhs. Sorry, I'm making some mistake somewhere. Is one lakh minus twenty thousand? Yeah. So the selling price was eighty. Thousand, right? Now, what was the cost price of two fifth of the land? Two fifth of the land was five into so this becomes six, so it is sixty thousand. So one lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. He sold at a gain of twenty five percent. So twenty five percent of one lakh twenty thousand. One two one two. So twelve hundred and twenty into twenty five is thirty thousand. So this was the gain. So he must have sold it at a profit. So it is one lakh twenty thousand. Plus thirty thousand. So the selling price was one lakh fifty thousand, right? This is one selling price. This was another selling price. So the total selling price is now one lakh fifty thousand plus eighty thousand. That is two lakh thirty thousand. So, um, this was a loss, right? So the total selling price have been two lakh thirty thousand. Now, <clears throat> as because it was bought at a cost of three lakh, and we need a profit of thirty percent, so the total selling price should have been. I write it here with a. Total selling price should be the total selling price should be three lakhs plus the ten percent we calculated as thirty thousand. So that makes it three lakh thirty thousand. Out of this three lakh thirty thousand, there is already a selling price total of two lakh thirty thousand. So the leftover part, the leftover land remaining, should be sold at. Should be sold at rupees three lakh thirty thousand minus two lakh thirty thousand, and that's giving us rupees one lakh. This will be the cost of the sorry the selling price of the rest or the remaining uh, land, and uh, which will you know help uh, help the man to fetch a profit of ten percent overall. Hope you followed it. we'll take more questions in the next few sessions thank you